Got to kind of make this quick. There's a cruise ship coming. What's going on guys? It's National Safe Boating Week. I'm out here in the Port of Miami and in this video I want to show you guys how to navigate Government Cut. I've been out here a ton. It's easy for me but if you're new to boating I want to show you just how easy it is to navigate. I'm going to take you through it. I'm going to get the drone up for you and I want you guys to practice safe boating. Here we go. This is my Gucci life jacket here. I only got one of these. Actually, it's called a PFD, Personal Flotation Device. Comes around. A little snug, but.
All right, guys, with the Memorial Day weekend coming up, there's going to be a lot of boats on the water. And right now, it is National Safe Boating Week, where you want to check out your life jackets, your flares, your fire extinguishers, make sure everything's working condition before you head out here. But in this episode, I want to show you guys how to navigate government cut. And rule number one, I go slow. Literally, all my trips are slow. I am going slow out here, especially when I do not know. We're talking under eight miles an hour. Right now I'm reading about six miles per hour. I'm gonna go a little faster. But eight miles an hour is generally where I wanna be at. And I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. As we're leaving the port here, the, the green channel marker is gonna be on your right. The red channel marker is gonna be on the left. In this particular inlet, if we're heading north, we wanna find the number 12 red channel marker. So I'm gonna get the drone up for you guys a little bit. I wanna show you just how, you know, this channel is marked and why it's very important. You need to stay in the channel before heading north or even south because we got jetties here. We got rocks in the water that aren't really exposed sometimes at specific tides. So you guys are gonna see here, I'm getting the drone up and we're here at high tide and you can see that the tip of the jetty is completely underwater. So if you were to cut that channel, that marker 12 red buoy before you cleared it, there's a good chance you can hit those rocks. And if you're not a professional, if you haven't done it 100,000 times, you know, not advised. Very, very, very dangerous for you guys to just kind of cut it too close. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go out government cut here I'm going slow I'm staying in the channel I got the green on my right I got the red on my left I'm gonna show you guys the channel markers I'm gonna get up the drone and really break down this inlet for you so let's keep going through the inlet here all right so we're in the channel here we're coming around Fisher Island and you see here we got Channel marker 15, the green. We want to stay to the port side of that, the left side of that. Keep us in the middle of the channel here. Again, when you don't know, go slow, especially at night. Night, even though I know what I'm doing in here, I've done it a lot of times. I have a lot of captain friends that have come in here all the time. There's no reason to come flying through here at night. Even if you know what you're doing, maybe there's another boater that doesn't know what he's doing. So. You really got to be driving offensively and defensively when you come through, come in and out of this inlet. So we just passed the number 15 over here at Fisher Island. We're going to keep making our way through the center of the inlet here. It's a big wide inlet. This is pretty much the, one of the top inlets in the world for cruise ships. As far as I know, one of the biggest cruise ship ports in here. And we got all the major cruise ships, all the major you know, cruise lines in here coming in and out. We're probably going to see one come out of here while we're making this video. So I'm making my way through the port here. I'm coming to the end of the south jetty. You can see that the jetties are not even. That's a big deal because when you clear this south jetty right here, you think you're out of the inlet, but you're not even close. That north jetty sticks out a heck of a lot further and there's even more rocks under the water. So you guys can see here, I'm gonna come a little bit closer just to show you where we're at as far as the North Jetty goes. I'm sorry, the South Jetty. See all the rocks around here, right here by me. And I still, in my vision, I got the channel right in front of me. I literally got the green on the right, the red on the left. You guys have heard the saying, red, red right return? Well, it's the opposite going out. So there's the end of the south jetty right here. Now, if I was to cut to the north, I would hit those rocks because that particular jetty sticks out much further than this jetty behind me. So what I want to show you guys now is I'm going to keep going through the channel and I want to show you what you need to look for when you're running north. 
you're not out of the you're not out of the government cut yet you're not out of here yet so I'm gonna keep going we got a green on our right red on our left over here even though there's not a whole lot of wind out here there's a little bit of an outgoing tide the waves are about two foot in here it gets a heck of a lot rougher so what I'm doing now is I'm working my boat my 25 foot single engine around the red can here and I'm gonna give you guys the number it's number 12 very important that you clear this so come to the other side for me come to this side so by coming around number 12 here let me get a little closer for you guys by coming around number 12 I gave myself plenty of clearance to clear those rocks and head north. At this point, I can head due north to my home port, which is haul over, and I got plenty of water under the boat with no obstructions, no shoals, no nothing. But you gotta clear this. This is the marker that mark basically tells you how far you gotta come out to clear that jetty. It marks the channel in the port. You know, I don't think we need lights on, on those rocks. I think lights are a distraction. I think we got enough lights out here. We got enough markers and buoys. But we do need boating safety and boating education. And that's why I'm so happy we got this boating safety week here to really reinforce our knowledge. And for those that don't know, now they can know a little bit. So I hope this video helps you. I hope you guys have a great Memorial Day. And I hope you learned something here during Boat Safety Week. I'm Captain Mike with RealPorts.com tight lines and safe boating.